Uh, what's up YouTube, this is Josh with Boosted Creations once again. Um, today we're going to be tearing apart that eBay GT35R just to see what kind of internals it actually has in it. I did have to pre-break some of these you know, bolts loose because uh, they're pretty tight. Um, but what you'll need mainly um, is a 14, 21, 10, 13, and I grabbed a 21 wrench. Um, you might be able to get out one of the fittings, but I wasn't able to use it. And if you have to, if you have an issue like this one here, where you can't get the socket on it, you can only get the, the wrench on it in a certain spot, but obviously at this angle you can't break it loose, then here's what I had to do. I had to vice grip the actual bolt adjustable wrench to on the vice grips to break it loose so uh, yeah let's let's get get going on taking this all apart um, yeah like I said most of it's already broke loose the only one that's not going to be that I'll have to actually break loose is this one this this water line was actually in the way so uh, let me get this set up here I mean I figured I was going to take it apart anyways, kind of clean it out and do some uh, some very light port work just to kind of clean up some of the some of the cast lines. Um, but it's also a good thing, just kind of especially since it is used, could let you kind of inspect it and see if you know something possibly did go wrong, even though it doesn't visually look like anything went wrong. But uh, we'll see. It's a water line. Oh, and you will need some snap ring pliers um, for the uh, compressor side, which I may or may not do. I don't know yet. Okay, I've got the other water line. And I did have to uh, go ahead and take off the oil return you know, off before the video, just for the fact of it was in the way of like three other things. So I went ahead and took it off, and I'll have to. Uh, I'll probably do like a make your own gasket, you know, just get a little gasket sheet and cut it out. It's pretty simple once you start doing it. Um, just a little razor blade and you can cut it out pretty easy. kind of hard to do on a table. What I'm going to go ahead and do is remove all these bolts and the, hold the turbine housing on. That way I can knock it off once they're all out. It's a little time consuming but better to go ahead and check it while you have it all off versus when you put it on the car and you know doesn't end up being what, what you need. And if it has washers on it, try to make sure you, you keep up with them. I mean these are pretty thick washers. I mean, realistically, I could probably get them in any hardware store or anything like that, but... And I, I want to show you the trick with the vice grips because uh, there's a wool line that I will not be able to get off with a wrench. Adjust your vice grips. It might be a little tight, but not too tight because it's brass fitting. Just a wrench here. Right, this broke loose. What we're gonna have to do is rotate this housing so we can actually get this go ahead and get this out. Alright, now 
how to continue taking the rest of these housing bolts out. problem where you know obviously that's gonna get in the way all you gotta do is rotate the housing around so you can actually get to the bolt you got one more rotate a little more and it should pop right off um, might be a little stiff if it has an O-ring on it, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah, it's got like a little ceiling surface here. It does look like the uh, impeller here has a little bit of damage on it. So let's, let's take this core apart and see what's uh, see what it's pulling in. It's definitely something you do not want to see when you, when you take a turbo apart. But I mean, other than that, housing itself, it's a little rusty, but I don't see where that impeller would have been hitting, but I'm going to set that off to the side here. I do have to turn my snap ring pliers around. Put together as a pull pull close instead of push close. can be a little tricky. Actually, even on the compressor housing, it's, a, it's in pretty good shape. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do here, we're going to take the vice grips once again. Clamp on to the turbine side. And we're going to put 
the tin, which is now going to be a you know, 12 point box end. I'm just going to try to break that nut loose. I'm going to tighten my vice grips real fast. If you've got a workbench, like a workbench you could actually clamp all this stuff down to, it would make it a lot easier. But, uh, unfortunately, I do not. Ice grips and wrench. Just remember, it also is backwards, like left hand thread. That way you don't do what I did and uh, gouge the crap out of your finger. Alright. Once you have the nut off, it should come right off. But just by looking at it, most likely it's going to be a journal bearing. So we'll have to change this core out before I actually you know, put it in something that it's going to be running in. I got to drive the blood up too. Yeah, careful on these. The edges are pretty sharp. I'm bringing our snap ring pliers again. it was you know damaged when he ran it or if it was actually all like this just from the factory but something got up in there and ate it a little bit. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. Yeah, just looking at these cores. Kind of look down in there. There's another C clip there, but I frankly do not have any ring pliers that small. But, yeah, that's that's basically it. And you can kind of see where it's got like a brass bearing in there. So this is a journal bearing core. Um, so we're gonna swap it out and get some some ball bearings in there and get a, an actual billet. You know, compressor wheel. But uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.